Hi everyone, um, welcome back to those who tune in uh, regularly and um, if you don't, my name is Melissa Morell and I am a personal stylist for real women. Um, that's you, me, curves, short, tall, mums on the school run, basically not a model in sight. Um, I also run a styling academy where I teach others how to become personal stylists and actually run a styling business, again, only for real women. And these people have got various backgrounds. They're typically not from a fashion background. Um, you know, you can come, we've had nurses, we've had um, admin staff, we've had a policewoman who's just got that passion for fashion, really, um, and also wanting to help others. So yeah, so if you feel like you'd lo love a change of career, then um, get in touch, either Instagram me or all my details are at the end of this video anyway. But anyway, back to today. So you can probably tell we're a little bit more relaxed today. So I've got my candle on, I've got my cup of tea, and I'm just gonna have a talk to you really about loungewear and how to look stylish in your own home, really. So this isn't, it's not pieces to go to bed in, it's more pieces to, I was about to say when you come in from work, but that's obviously not happening for most at the moment, but when you're just at home all the time and you want to feel really relaxed, you don't want a tight pair of jeans on or trousers, but you still want to look sort of half decent and not like you're slobbing around the place. One of the things I am going to add to the end of this video, albeit I'll probably do it very quickly, but I'm going to also show you the pieces that didn't work. So I did a huge online shop and so many pieces looked great online. Um, but you have to remember that these look great on young, tall, really slim models. And the reality of loungewear is that you've often got your slippers on, you haven't got your heels to make it all look nice and elongated. Um, so yeah, a lot of the pieces just didn't work as well as they did in the picture. So I'm gonna put those up uh, at the end. I'll try and either talk through or write a quick explanation as to why they didn't work. Um, but let's get started. So um, first one I'm wearing, I really like this one. Um, this is from Neck, so try and show you the sort of knit here. It's really, really nice, it's super soft. Uh, trousers are a wide leg trouser. Um, hopefully the images will be coming up at the side of you now. Um, yeah, I love this twin set. It's really really versatile i think you could easily i'm not saying you could you couldn't really wear the pants by themselves but you could certainly wear the cardigan out just with a pair of jeans or something um and it's super soft it's in like this oatmeal-y color um this is a size small in next um which so i'm kind of an eight to a ten um I'd say the cardigan is quite nice and loose and baggy. I like it when it drops off the shoulder like that. It can look a little bit sexy. But let's talk about the reality of that. I've got a strapless bra on. Most of us don't want to sit around the house with a strapless bra on. Most of us want to let those puppies sort of hang loose anyway. So actually, if you do want to let them hang loose, then that's okay because you can flick it off your shoulders. But usually, you know, you've probably got at least your bra on, especially if you're doing a Zoom meeting, or you should have your bra on if you're doing a Zoom meeting. Um, so, you know, the reality is that it probably sit like that, but you could always put like a little vest top underneath um, and just have it open here. That would look really nice as well. Um, so yeah, that's probably um, one of my favourites that is on the rail today. The cardigan, in fact, both of them were £32 each, um, which isn't a bad price, but still quite expensive, £64 for um, loungewear. But, um, but at least you could feel like you could open the door and not look, you know, really scruffy and sort of half decent in this. Okay. The next item I want to show you is again from Next. Um, in fact, probably worth mentioning here, um, a number of the items are from Next, but I don't use Next just for Next brand items. I use Next for Whistles, Reese, um, Topshop they even do, River Island they do. So Next as a whole portal covers so many different brands 
and I can always rely on Next to deliver the next day. Um, I also use John Lewis, um, usually you can collect in any sort of local co-ops or Waitrose. Um, co-op's quite a new thing so many people don't know about that. But that's great as well because it's one place for lots of different brands. Um, ASOS I use quite a lot as well. So yeah, but um, going back to this next piece, oh my goodness, this is just the coziest. If you want to feel like you're wearing like something so soft it's unbelievable, then you want to get this one from Next. It's from their downtime um, collection. The top was a size small and it was £28 and the bottoms were also small and they were £30. Um, the top is quite oversized though. I don't know if they did an extra small or not, um, but if they did, I probably would have gone for an extra small, um, certainly in the top anyway. But the top is lovely and cosy. It's got these lovely buttons on the sleeve um, and it's quite sort of gathered at the sleeve there, so it gives a bit of a balloon effect. So it's just a little bit more stylish than just a normal jumper. Um, it's so super soft. I don't know how it's going to wash. I don't know if it'll end up going um, a little bit rough. So I think only if you've got maybe a dryer, you might want to have that set. Uh, lovely caramel color. I would definitely wear that jumper with a pair of jeans as well. Um, but I probably wouldn't get an occasion where I would wear the trousers out. In fact, a lot of these, the tops can probably be worn out with jeans and things like that. Um, but the type of thing I would be doing is if like, say I was wearing this set during the day and then I had to go and pick the kids up from school, I'd just whip the bottoms off, pull, pull a pair of jeans on and away I go. Okay, so now the trousers, um, have a look at the pictures at the side of me. The trousers are literally made for somebody who is six foot tall. They are so super long. So I am 5'3", five, 5'4", five, at a push. And again, let's talk about the realities because what you probably can't see in these pictures at the side of me is that I'm standing on my tiptoes. So A, my legs are going to look longer than they um, really are. And um, secondly, it's a trip hazard. So given that I would be in just some flat slippers or something around the house, I reckon I could take those up by about that much. So this is an absolutely perfect, gorgeous set if you're probably 5'5 five, five and above, maybe 5'6", then it will look really nice. It will really elongate the legs. The trousers are really nice, wide. Um, cut and really high waisted so that high waist will sort of tuck in any sort of overflow or excess around the tummy area. They've got a drawstring so you can hold them up because actually they are quite heavy. Um, don't look it do they but yeah they sort of really quite drag down. I had to really pull that drawstring together to hold them up. Um, again they were small but if they did them in an extra small for sort of my size, like say I'm probably, I'm probably an eight on the top and a 10 on the bottom, then I probably would have gone extra small to see if they fitted a little bit better. Um, but that is a gorgeously soft, probably the softest out of everything that I've got on the rail. I'd say if you really want cozy and snug but um, stylish, then that's definitely an option. So next up we have um, one by Madeline Thompson. So this is in the designer um, brandswear, again bought via Next. Um, it's part of their label mix, so they do sort of really nice high-end high brands like Reese and things like that. Um, I love this one, just because it's just so different from everything else on the rail. Um, I think I'd probably prefer it if it wasn't in black and that it, if it was in navy, um, but it's just a little bit different, really fun really long, but not too long, not as long as the last set, um, wide trousers with this great rainbow, rainbow stripes down, and then a cardigan to match. Um, the cardigan has actually got some extra detail in as well. Let me see if I can show you that. It's kind of got like a 
an, an extra knit down there. Sort of oversized, but my dog hairs have already got on it, which again is horrible. Um, but yeah, that is feels really, really nice. Um, wait for the price though. So, 99 pounds per item. So that's 200 pounds for this set. So that's quite hefty for a loungewear set. Um, personally, I think it's worth it just simply because I wear this type of thing all the time in the house. You could definitely, definitely wear these items out. You could put these trousers with a bit of a leather jacket, just keep it simple, a white top underneath, put a really nice black polo neck underneath. Um, that would look really cool with a pair of trousers. Definitely wear the cardigan, maybe some faux leather trousers or just some jeans or whatever. So really, really versatile piece, um, but expensive. So next up, I've got three items, all from um, different places, I think. No, two Zara pieces and one from Next that I've put together as a combination myself, but you could wear all three pieces by themselves. Well, you won't want to wear just a body by itself, but you know what I mean? You could put it with jeans, you could put it with a different cardigan, you could put it with a leather jacket. Um, and I really like the overall look that this gave. Um, so let's start off with um, the cardigan. I've actually showed this piece before. Um, this is a um, size small from Zara. It was $29.99. You can get these everywhere at the moment. H&M do them for a really good price as well, sort of $19.99, $24.99. Um, the, the key with these is that they are really long, okay? So it's going to make your frame look really nice and elongated. And it's just that great cozy cover up, um, especially if you've got like a tighter jean on or anything like that. If you wear this long line over, it's really going to elongate your frame. It's in a neutral color. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit cautious about with this is that it's going to bobble. Um, it's not the best of qualities. If you saw um, my coat edit video, I think, I put a thicker cardigan there on from Mango, um, but it was a more expensive piece at sort of 90 pounds. Um, that one won't bobble, this one will, but for sort of 24.99, then I'm happy to have that for a couple of seasons and wear it around the house just because it gives a really nice frame, like I said. So I have paired that up with a white body top. Now these are Zara classics. Now I know a lot of you will say that you don't like the bodies. Um, they can be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I find the Zara ones um, really comfortable actually. This one is lovely because it's got those little thin straps. Um, if you can get away with little thin straps, as in you don't have to wear a bra, um, which if we sort of, around, again, if you're in loungewear, you might not want to be wearing a bra anyway in the evening. Um, it has got a little bit of a second layer in, but it's not actually going to hold your bust up or anything. It's not like tight underneath. Um, it just means that your nipples won't be on show because it's just a double layer basically. Um, but you can get these with the thicker straps as well so that you can wear your bra underneath. Like I say, they are the body. Um, out of all the bodies, Zara's bodies are um, less intrusive down there. Um, and as a little tip, I never wear um, pants as well as a body because then there's just too much going on down there. You, you wear that as a whole thing basically. So, um, but yeah, that's great underneath it. And then the trousers. So this is what really makes the, this outfit. Um, I can't remember where these are from, let's have a look. Next again, and they've got a touch of cashmere. And they are 38 pounds actually, so that's not bad. Um, I think these looked really, really good on. They are super high-waisted, got this lovely tidy de detail here. They're really long, and then at the bottom, I wonder if you can see that, they've got sort of an additional bit of um, stitching, which all of these details 
just add to the item looking a little bit better quality and when you're picking items even if it's just a grey pair of joggers always look for that different stitching or a little bit of detail that makes it stand out a little bit more um, two huge pockets as you can see and yeah I think they're lovely um, I do think they're going to bobble though especially around sort of the, th the inner thigh area or maybe that's just because I've got bigger thighs and they rub together a little, <laughs> a little bit. Um, but yeah, they will bobble. I have a very similar set from Jigsaw, which has got cashmere in as well. That one was very expensive and I reckon within two wears, um, it was really, really bobbly. But this has only got a bit of cashmere in. Let me have a look. Okay, so it's only 10% cashmere, 40% viscose. 50% uh, nylon so actually it's probably not going to bobble as much as if it was more heavily um, cashmere based but they feel super super soft I feel like I could wear that I would definitely put those with a pair of trainers and um, my leather or a coat over my shoulders or something and feel like I could nip out to the shops and not feel like I was in sort of pajama based loungewear so um, yeah highly recommend those so next up, we have a velour tracksuit. So for any of you as old as me out there, you will remember that velour used to be massive. Um, but velour is back, yay! And do you know what, I for one are really, really pleased because it is so super soft honestly it just it literally feels like velvet sort of like you know like when the the galaxy adverts are on they're saying it's smooth and silky that is this tracksuit um this is from asos and actually i can't remember how much it doesn't say on the label i can't remember how much it was but i will put it up on the video at the side of me it's from a brand called hunk mola think hunky mola maybe I don't know how you say it um, I haven't necessarily heard of that brand before but um, it's a really really lovely one I ordered quite a few on um, on the order but this was the only one that sort of made it it's got um, as you can see it's a hoodie with these uh, tassels on there and then it's got more of a tight um, sort of like a jo tight jogging pant bottom to go with it they do have turnips already sewn in, um, but being the shorty that I am, I still had to roll those up. And the reality of that is when you rolled it up like that, you've got the inside of the fabric and it doesn't look as good actually. So if I was keeping this one, I would probably, do, probably just unstitch it and just um, permanently roll it up so the velour is actually shown on the outside. Um, and the reason actually I would roll it up is because if you, you're showing just a really small sliver of your ankle, which your ankles and your wrists are usually the smallest part of um, your frame, then it's quite delicate, it looks a lot more feminine, um, and it's just a slender part to focus on really. So generally speaking, it will make you look a lot slimmer. Um, so you'll always notice that I've got my sleeves rolled up, for example. So that's for that reason, you need any help you can get. Um, but also it's a bit of an optical illusion. When you've got your sleeves rolled up, it makes your waist look smaller as well. So um, that's a good styling tip for anybody out there. So would definitely recommend, I'll put the price at the side of me. So next up, we have a, another piece from ASOS. It's from ASOS Design, um, which is just their slightly more um, premium range. Um, ASOS is great again because it all arrives the next day. Okay, so this is like a sort of pinky, mauvey, more of a tracksuit based piece. Um, it's got, let's see if I can show you the sort of fabric, it's a little bit more quilted. Um, this sort of quilted pattern is really in fashion at the moment. It's really cosy, I thought it looked really nice. I would really easily throw this on when I um, got in from work. Um, it was quite high waisted on um, the waistband. It feels nice quality as well. And 
I do like my sort of twin sets in, in terms of the colours, the cohorts going together. But there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't put a cream hoodie with these pants or cream joggers or whatever. Um, the price isn't on here, which is really annoying because ASOS never come with any prices on. But I will make sure that in the pictures I add the pricing to it so you can see. Um, the jumper's quite oversized. Um, what size did I get? So I got a 10 in the jumper and I would say... Like I say, I'm probably a size eight on top, so I probably would recommend more of a size eight in the jumper if you're my sizing. Oh, and I got a size eight in the bottoms, and they were they fitted perfectly actually. So I should have gone eight and eight, um, but I know a lot of people at the moment like the really big oversized look as well. But yeah, that was really nice. But don't be afraid to put a leather with that, so you can go out to the shops in it, uh, mix it about with other things. Um, but yeah, slightly slightly different and felt really nice and cosy in it um, and more of an outfit that I could go out in as well as just slobbing around the house. Right, so next up we have got just a jogging pants and hoodie combination. Um, a lot of my clients will say, aren't I too young to wear, aren't I too old, sorry, to wear joggers um, and hoodies? No. As long as you're buying the right one and they're not ridiculously oversized and you're pairing it up with a nice jacket or leather or something like that if you are wearing it out of the house then I think they look great um, and they are the type of thing that people are wearing out and about to the shops now and they're not necessarily just for loungewear pieces in the house um, this is one of my favorite combinations I love the colors I like even though we're in winter I like keeping it with these sort of hues rather than um, navy or black or something a little bit um, a little bit more boring. So I like these colours. And this one is from H&M. It's from their Divided range, um, which is just their basic collection. So I'm not sure how much it was. I will try and find the same one or if not similar and put it at the side. But they're not particularly expensive. They come in all different colours. But what I do try and do when even when I buy a hoodie is can you see here how the sleeves are gathered and this one I've got a bit of a balloon sleeve going on. It's a little bit oversized, a um, bit of a drop sleeve going on here as well. Um, that just makes the hoodie look a little bit different and not so just like you could have on your husband's hoodie or whatever. Um, sometimes it's the toggles that are a little bit different, perhaps the hardware on the toggles might be quite nice. Um, maybe, I don't know, they're in rose gold or, or something like that. Just, I just look for some sort of detail that makes it look a bit different. Um, I love this one, although again, talking from a practical point of view, the balloon sleeves are quite bulky if I layer it up. So that's why I would have two or three hoodies um, and it sounds a little bit excessive but if I know I want to layer one up then I might not choose this one but if I just want this on show then I, obviously I've got that there. Um, so the jogging pants they are from Zara and they are a size medium. They um, These are actually genuinely my own so um, they're a little bit worn but the reason why I like my joggers from Zara is because they come at a perfect length for me so they just skim my ankle a little bit um, and back to what we were saying before if you skim your ankle then um, it's usually makes your whole frame look a little bit slender more slender um, and it's a little bit more flattering than something really bulking up all around the um, elbow as I said the elbow talking for too long, around the ankle area. Um, yeah, and these are really, really nice. They're really comfortable. They're lined. I should have said the same way as the jumper is. So they're really snuggly, really cozy and warm. And I think everybody should have a tracksuit combination because you really can just throw on a pair of Converse, put a blade, a, even, well, I, I meant to say then a leather jacket, but actually I said blazer. And yes, I would put a blazer with a pair of jogging pants, which sounds really um, bizarre. But for the right occasion, then that combination can actually look really, really nice. And when you've got a baggier 
um, bottom going on to then use the blazer which helps you sort of nip in your waist it gives you a little bit more shape as well um, because I'm not going to lie these combination together it's not about your figure it's about comfort and um, yeah comfort comfort really which is what this loudwear piece is about anyway so yeah so that's my favorite combination um, size up in the joggers so I had a size medium where I'm usually small in Zara and this one was a size small from H&M but it is really oversized so you probably could have gone to an extra small there okay so um, next up I have got something just a little bit different I just wanted to show you how you can wear like a loungewear type of or a more casual pant but you could also team it with a shirt of some sort or a slightly um, nicer fabric top in order to do zoom calls or whatever it is that you're doing and um, so it just elevates the casual look a little bit um, and to show you that we have got these really great trousers from Zara I think they were $24.99 or $29.99 I'll put the price at the side of me and um, I got them in a size small however I should have got them in an extra small because they stretch quite a bit whilst wearing them um, and also this is like an elastic um, pull tie and I'm finding that I'm having to really pull it in sort of like that so you get too many wrinkles there so um, they're obviously coming up a little bit bigger because I'm not usually an extra small in Zara so I'd say size down on these ones um, I really like these they've got the cuffs on there I wear these with a leather I wear them with trainers um, I dress them up and I dress them down um, and in order to dress it up on this occasion I've picked a Zara white shirt now the type of thing that helps this is I don't know if you can see I wear a combination of three necklaces here on the neck okay mine are from a company called Masoma um, they are they are relatively pricey per one um, but you can get this sort of combination everywhere now from sort of H&M for a packet for like $7.99 but you know if you go in the shower with them they're not going to last where something like Masoma or a, a similar brand like that um, I do everything in these spray, spray perfume the whole lot and um, there's never an, an issue with it but anyway so from hopefully you can see from the pictures at the side of me that you don't have to keep the slack pant for just hoodies you can put something a little bit smarter with it and it looks really quite cool and effortless um, I've put them with a little beige mule but I would equally I would put it with a proper heel that would look really nice as well um, I'd even put like a long camel coat over this and that would equally look nice or a black coat so yeah, just a, a bit of a different slant on loungewear really and how to upgrade it slightly if you need it, okay? I just thought I'd show you this guys. I've just stepped away from my chair for a minute and look who's taken over my space. As you could see, Monty wanted to stay and join in on this so I will just perch myself around him. Next up, we have an item from Lipsy. Um, Lipsy you can again get from Next or you can get from them um, direct. When I first unwrapped this item, um, it felt nowhere near as soft as the other pieces. Um, but I quite like the idea of it being sort of a slouchy neck again sort of a little bit off the shoulder -y type of thing um, but yeah definitely the fabric isn't as nice and, and the trousers with this sort of shallow waistband here are not as flattering as some that have got a wider waistband they also don't have any pockets um, I really like pockets I know they make your um, sort of thighs look bigger if you're a bit of a curvy pair like I am um, but the reality is I go around the house picking up you know everything popping them in pockets and putting them putting things away upstairs or carrying my mobile phone or something like that and I think it just um, doesn't seem as good a quality 
However, the overall look was really quite nice. So hopefully those images are coming up now. Um, the bottoms, again, they don't have the pricing on, but I will make sure it goes on the side. But in terms of sizing, I had a 10 in the bottoms. I would say you could probably have gone down to an eight if you're anything like my sizing. And then the top was a 10, which actually fitted quite well. Um, sometimes if you go too big um, on a sort of slouch top like this, then it falls off too much and your boobies end up coming out. But equally, if you go too small, you don't sort of get that relaxed look either. So uh, you want to make sure that that fits you just perfectly enough that it, it hangs off this shoulder without everything else hanging out. Um, so yes, I liked the look. Um, no, I won't be buying because it just doesn't feel as cosy as all the other pieces. Okay. So finally, um, the last one that I wanted to show you is um, one that I'm really not sure about this. I think actually this set is really nice if you've got really slim legs. Um, and the reason I say that is because as you, let me pull these trousers off, you can see there on the trousers, they're lovely and high waisted, which is great. They're a really soft, woolly um, fabric. They're from ASOS Design again, and I had them in a size 10. They're wide leg, so super flattering and super comfy but they do have this ridge, can you see that? All the way down. Now, that ridge can be incredibly flattering on a lot of people because that's gonna be really elongating. However, if you're like me and are slightly heavier around the thigh area, what you get is that rib sort of starts to bend a little bit over any um, larger areas and that's exactly what happened with me i'll put the pictures up so you can see um, but i felt really conscious in those so they're probably not for me um, but i think if you've got a nice slim leg then actually it was a really nice set together um, i'll put the prices up on the side but i think it was really reasonable the hoodie that goes with it is really nice and really versatile I probably would have bought that one if I didn't have bigger thighs and um, it looked all out, outstretched. And finally, um, I'm just going to run through really, really quickly, um, just in picture format, um, the items that I brought but didn't buy. Um, so that's what's going to follow next. Um, so but I'll just take this opportunity to say, Thank you for listening. Um, if you're watching this via YouTube and you can press that like button or even subscribe, that would be amazing. That really helps me out. And if you're watching this on Instagram, if you can like the post, share the post, whatever, um, that's brilliant. Um, I should just say um, on YouTube, if you subscribe, that doesn't mean you have to pay anything. It just means that you'll get an alert every time I do a new video and you won't have to go searching for it. <laughs> like it's the end of my video given that my dog has started barking so um thank you and if you have any messages or any questions then just um, put them in the box below and i will get back to you thanks for listening bye